Yeah. I get my word from the narco. We outside. Could've died. Maya Angelou. Still I rise. We don't hide. Greasy guys. We got fries. Super size. I'm a big man. I talk big racks. I need big stacks. Ain't no chit chat. How you hate on another man? I don't get that. That's something I don't understand. I ain't with that. Hey, trap house, trap house, banging again. I'm in this bitch slanging again, bringing them in. But was stuck in the drug, and I guess I done made him a man. Made me a plan. I knew I was destined way before I made me a friend. I'ma do what I can. But you got no respect, you gon' use an abusement. That's how I know you ain't my man. But it's my fault. Can we just cancel today? I'm hungry and he's late as always. Oh, have we started yet? No. Miss Hart, I apologize for being late. There's some things that happened on my job. I am the foreman and only I can deal with these kinds of situations, but I'm here. Sorry, baby girl. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, as I do with all new clients, I'd like for each of you to tell me why you're here. Okay, we'll start with you, Mr. Davis. Start, um, but I'm not really sure. I know my daughter and I have had some real issues as of late. But I do believe that this communication here it's a good start, so it'll help. Okay. Okay. So, communication would be something that you want from this. I think so. I mean, look, everybody's doing therapy. This wasn't my first choice. But, um, if it's going to make some changes, I'm definitely down to try it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Kim. Tell me why you're here. I would say the same thing, only I've been trying to communicate and it doesn't seem to be working, but then again, I'm not a therapist, so we'll just see how it goes. Are you an only child? Yes, I am. Do you feel lonely being an only child? Oh, wait, 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 uh, Dr. Harden, <laughs> it's not that deep. No. No, no, no. These are just baseline. Well, but Honestly, Dad, chill out. I'm okay. I can answer my own questions if that's okay with you. Okay. Proceed. Yes, I do sometimes. Okay. And what do you do to not feel lonely? What do you do for that? I only feel lonely at home. When I'm out, there's always people around me. But honestly, that gets lonely too. Wait, 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 excuse me. Now, my daughter is always around other people. I mean, she even brings people into the house and she's always moving about that. You know what? I'm really shocked to hear this, really. Kim, can you tell me about your day before you came here? Well, I have a morning routine I usually try to keep. What? I'm going to work. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Why are you up so early? Early bird gets the worm, right? Look, listen, Kim. 
I need you to do me a favor. What's up? It's these niggas are selling perks uptown. I ain't got no money. Don't worry about it. How much you need? Oh, uh, like 25. 25 what? 100? It's only till I get the shit them niggas owe me. Let me see how much I have. Anything. I see a couple hundreds. You know what I mean? I'm just... Here. How much is this? Don't worry about it. Take it and go. Take it and go? Look, listen. I appreciate this, okay? I'm gonna get it right back to you. Look, I got something to do with my dad later. So you kicking me out? I'll text you. Damn, just like that. Can I come over later? I'll text you, E. You really gonna text me? Don't make any noise on the way out. So you didn't talk to each other today. Nothing else happened. Mark, how was your day? Well, my day is like any other day. I get up early and I start my coffee. Hello? Yeah, where you at? Well, if you ain't coming home, why you even call me? Talk. Listen, I ain't got time for this. I gotta go to work. I'll call you later. There are some mornings that are different than today. I mean, I mean we talk. Don't we? Do you, Kim? Do you want to elaborate more? It's just that some morning, sometimes his mornings are more exciting than How so? Oh, wait a minute. Let me see if I can explain this. She Dr. asked Hartman. me, can I talk, please, without you cutting me off for once? I went to Miami for a week with my friends. And I came in one morning and- New surface video now showing us what happened minutes before Ahmaud Arbery was shot and killed in Brunswick, Georgia. And now his family's lawyers and the GBI are weighing in on what this could mean for this case. Trey Clett has the latest developments for us tonight. 
A video showing the last moments of Ahmad Arbery's life. It's caused outrage around the country, with many asking why it took so long before shooter Travis McMichael and his father Greg McMichael were arrested. New video appears to be what a former prosecutor in the case referred to in an email sent after his recusal. On April 7th, Ware County DA George Longhill wrote there was, quote, video of Arbery burglarizing a home immediately preceding the chase and confrontation. At 208 in the video, you see a man in a white shirt and shorts walk into a home under construction on Satilla Drive. Moments later, a person can be seen in the top left frame. Okay. So, do you object to your father's drinking? I mean, no, but he shouldn't be. Uh, listen, can I explain something before any confusion starts? Sure. Well, today represents a day that me and my daughter have shared quite often. You see, in the past, I worked a lot of hours and family time was very short. So, my wife suggested that I spend more time with my daughter. Mm -hmm. So, we called it Daddy Daughter Day. And that is today. Yes, it is. Why is today different? Today seems different because now I feel like we're less connected. Because? Well, every third Friday of the month, when we would get together, something always seems to go wrong. And now, it feels like it has a wrong meaning to it. Okay. So, your wife, her mother, how does she deal with this day? She's gone. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. You don't have to be sorry. It's not like she's dead. Oh. She's just um, gone. But it's okay, because I believe it's better for the both of us. How about we end here for today, and I give you two something to help you to reconnect. What do you think is in the way? He drinks and thinks I don't know. Really? But you know what, doctor? Her phone? She's on it the entire day, all day. You know, maybe if you gave me some attention, I wouldn't have to be on my phone all day. Okay. I'll give you attention. Okay. How about you spend the next Daddy Daughter Day without the phone or the drinking and take time to reconnect with one another? You know, think about what your wife and your mother intended for this day. observed that for every woman there was a masculine aspect within her psyche. 
the archetype of the animus, and for every man, a feminine counterpart, the anima. The anima is, is an archetype, uh, an archetype form expressing the fact that a man has a minority of feminine or female uh, genes. Yeah. And that is something that doesn't appear, disappear in him, that is constantly present. And it works as a female in a man. The same is the case with the animus, that is a masculine image in a woman's mind, uh, which is not ex sometimes quite conscious, sometimes it is not conscious, but it is called into life the moment that woman meets a man who says the right things. And then because he said it, it is all true, and he is, he is the fellow. No matter what he is. Yeah. Hey, oh. I get my word from the narco. We outside, could have died. My hand still out. He said I need to see someone. We don't hide. So, why do you or someone think you need to be here? I'll tell you, B. Trust me. I mean, you always come back to you for it. All the time. Thank you. Move, Move. Brian, what do you do for a living? Um, 